Uh, what's going on, YouTube? What's going on, my youngest? Yeah, OG got another one for you. Y'all meet Waikisha. By way of Kendra G. She's 41 from Southern Cal. She wants men to know from the door she's a Christian woman. And she wants a God-fearing man. I want y'all to remember that. It's going to come into play. Because I want y'all to be well. It's some things uh, that y'all need to be aware of because every woman that can carry that title of Christian, her actions and her words are two different things. And we're going to talk about that today. But before we do, if y'all ain't hit that like button, hit on down there, hit that like button so y'all continue to support OG. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. And respectfully comment, because ladies, if I'm wrong and you, you, you point out a good point to me, trust me, OG going to respond respectfully and say, that's a good point. I'm still show you love. So let's get that straight now. Let's go right into this. Right up on introduction, she led uh, Kirk to know that he must be a God-fearing man. We're going to go back to a little bit of our history before I get into this. She's 41. She's not bad looking. She's more of an OG type. You know, not the flashy dresser. You just have to undress her with your eyes. You know whether she got hips or nice breasts. You know what I mean? She oh, she dressed OG style, not modern woman style is what I mean. So she wasn't played all out. I'm not going to lie on her like that. In my standard, from an OG standpoint, she's attractive. I would have gave her a six. Straight up, and a six is good when you're an OG. That's beautiful. Then she 41. Yeah, I would give her a seven because she 41. Yeah. She a tenderoni to OG. But anyway... She had three kids, youngest one, 12. Two different baby daddies. She's Christian now. Three kids, two different baby daddies. Her occupation, she's a life coach. And that's great, that's fabulous. She's never been married. But what got me about that is, is what she said she mentored. She said she meant to single moms, <laughs> yeah, to empower themselves. And she ain't even empowered herself. And see, this is the lie that women tell themselves, and now they come in under the guise of the cloth, as I say. Because she's totally... Saying she Christian, she out of line from the door saying what type of potential husband she's choosing. And it ain't even her place. For one thing, a woman does not choose the type of husband she wants. A man chooses the type of wife he wants. It's on him to decide whether you wifey or not. It, you have no, absolutely no say so. Ask the ones that have actually manipulated them way themselves into getting married. How easily that man stepped out. Because you cannot manipulate your way into a marriage. No more than you can come into this telling this man that you're a Christian woman after living your life the opposite. Not putting you down. This ain't OG. But I'm saying, how are you going to come in and demand the best that God have created in man for you? And you done had, at least by your word, two chances. Then on to top it off, y'all, kids are always asking, well, when was the last time you had relations? This Christian woman. She said, well, I'd rather not answer that. You can't make this up. But I'm going to let y'all go. But I'm going to read this to y'all. And I got to read this to y'all. Because the next one of these Christian women that stepped to y'all. I want to ask y'all. Does this here book in Proverbs remind you of her? And I ain't going to hold you up. It ain't long. Because I'm just I'm gonna just read some of it. But yeah, this is not the word. The chapter is called in, in the Proverbs. The cunning of an evil woman. It says, 
starting at 10, and behold, there met him a woman with a tire of an harley and subtle of heart. She is loud and stubborn, her feet abide not in her house. Now she is without now in the streets, lieth in wait at every corner. Y'all, they was in the street back then. That's not a coincidence that they actually saying we out here in these streets. This is Proverbs, the, the first book of the Bible. It's Proverbs. Say they was in the street. Say this is where you going to run up on her in the street. I'm going to wrap it up. I ain't going to hold y'all. Because see, they're going to step in y'all saying Christian. And I want y'all to say, hmm, this is Proverbs 8 here. I mean, this proverb uh, uh, seven, verse ten. OG taught us. Check this out. I'm gonna go back. Said, "Now is she without? Now in the streets and lieth in wait at every corner. So she caught him and kissed him, and an impudent face said unto him, I have peace offerings with me this day. Have I paid my vow?" As a man, you paid your vow. So she got it. Therefore, came I forth to meet thee diligently to seek thy face, and I have found thee. She said, I done found you. Now I'm going to go on down to 15. Oh, 16. It said, I have decked my bed with coverings of tapestry, with carved woods, with fine linen of Egypt. She got a bathe. I have perfumed my bed with myrrh, aloes, and cinnamon. She said, come on, let us take our fill of love until the morning. Let us solace ourselves with love. She gaming them already. See, this ain't new, y'all. This ain't new. I ain't hold y'all up no fuck. But I want y'all to remember Proverbs 7. And I want y'all to start at 10. And then from 10 down to 27, I want y'all to remember who God tell y'all as men to look out for. Don't listen, OG. Thus says y'all how your power, what y'all need. They say she coming in hot, loud. She going to get your attention. She Listen, she going to tell you her bed hot. It's smelling good. Fresh lit the whole nine. But I'm going to stop. I'm going to go to 26 and I'm going to let y'all go. For she has cast down many wounded. Yeah, many strong men have been slain by her. I'm going to say that one more time and let y'all go. So she could cast down many wounded. So she has slain a lot of strong men. Oh, she putting it on them out there, y'all, and it ain't new. Y'all don't forget to hit that like button, respectfully comment, and subscribe. Now, what is the word for today? Christianity. And let it go where it counts. Because that Christian woman, she ain't going to come in front of you selling you on God. Because she going to know you already got his presence within you. Because she going to know that she's a wife from the door. Your wife, she's not coming in and preaching to you. Because she's going to keep the doctor and know she cannot preach to her husband. Christian woman. Okay.